Hey everybody, I'm Isaac A. Wardell. I'm a social marketing strategist. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new feature for choosing the different types of page admins that you can have. Now previously, whenever you added a new admin to your page, it was just a full control admin. They had access to do everything that you could do. But not anymore. Now we can control what level of permissions admins have. So to do so, all you have to do is come up here to edit page on your page and come over to this section that's been retitled to admin roles. Previously it just said admins. All right, so now you can see a list of, of all your different admins and you've got the option to choose from five different roles for your admins. Everything from manager to just purely a reports uh, person, a person that can see the analytics for your page. Uh, Facebook has done a really neat graph to help you understand the different types of roles. So for your manager, basically they can do everything. They're your full control admin. And this is what all of your admins were converted to automatically when Facebook introduced the new feature. The second one is basically they can do everything to the page except manage the admin roles. They can't add admins, they can't remove admins, they can't change your role, etc. And this is probably going to be if you have other people creating content for your page, uh, that sort of a thing, this is the role that you're going to want to give them. So that they can't manage other admins, but they can do everything else that they need to do. Edit the page, post updates, respond to comments, etc. Now you might have some people that are just moderators basically they don't create any content they just kind of watch the conversation and can you know if somebody's getting a little testy or something they can respond or delete that comments or maybe they just want to respond in general as the page not as them personally but as the page uh, to answer questions and that sort of a thing uh, they can also send messages as the page so this might be good for somebody who's a uh, in PR for instance or marketing you know where they want to respond to specific posts that were made or specific questions that have been made about the page versus creating content also might be uh, something if you've got specific areas of your company where uh, only certain people can answer certain questions uh, you might have one person from each department who's able to respond to certain questions that sort of a thing all right, advertiser, basically all they can do is create ads and view insights, and then you've got just the person who can just view the insights. Um, I do a lot. I have a feeling I'm going to be being moved to this role on a lot of pages because I create ads for a lot of different pages, and I have full control of the pages. I never do anything but create ads for them, but now we can just have them set me to an advertiser role so I can create ads for their pages instead of having full control which is also better for me so that I don't accidentally do something to their page unintentionally uh, but those are the five different roles so I recommend that you go into your page take a look at all your current admins and see which role is most appropriate for each one of them uh, if you haven't seen my video where I talk about having at least two admins on your page I highly recommend that uh, in the case in that video I present a need for two admins of your page in this case two managers in case somebody's uh, Facebook gets deleted if there's only one managing admin then uh, the page could get deleted or if you have two managing admins uh, the page would be saved and then rules could be reassigned when new Facebook's created that sort of thing anyway I detail all that in the other video but uh, that would require two managers so I do recommend that you have two managers and then everybody else according to their uh, most appropriate role. Hey if you like this video I've got a lot more videos and reports and templates etc on my website isaacawardl.com all you have to do is head on over there put in your name and email and I will send you a private link to the back end of my website where all of those resources are located at. I look forward to seeing you over there.